About a year ago, I did a course by Shane Parrish. It's called Decision by Design. I think it has impacted my life in every single aspect of my life. So what I would like to do is I would like to share some of those thoughts with you and I would recommend all of you to do this course when you get the opportunity to do so. So I think the first week he covers this concept called consequential decisions, inconsequential decisions. So I'm going to draw it out for you. So you take a 4 by 4 quadrant, there are decisions that are consequential and there are decisions that are inconsequential. There are decisions that are reversible and there are decisions that are irreversible. Now when you look at it, what happens is that if a decision is consequential and irreversible, then it's a very critical decision and you should spend as much time as you want to take that decision. But if it's inconsequential and it's reversible, then you should outsource a decision to somebody else or take it very quickly. So let me give you an example. I have an assistant and he would approach me for a lot of things on a regular basis. So what I realized was sometimes giving him instructions what to do was taking more time than actually taking the decision. So what I did was I put what is inconsequential for me. So I decided that 10,000 rupees and below is inconsequential for me. And the fact of the matter is most of those decisions which are finance based are sort of reversible too. So what I did was every time I told my assistant that you can't approach me for anything where the decision is less than 10,000 rupees in value. So whenever there is a decision to be taken, if something is costing 9,000 rupees or 11,000 rupees, which one should I buy, the delivery is faster, etc. Please take the decision, don't approach me at all. Because if I'm billing my mana rate, and let's say 1 lakh rupees an hour, every single time somebody approaches me for decision making, it wastes 15 minutes of my time. So basically, I'm wasting 25,000 rupees of time to take a 10,000 rupee decision. And this has completely transformed my life. He approaches me very few times as compared to what he would approach me earlier. Because what I've seen is, at least in India, a lot of assistants, when they take a financial call, they feel they should take permission from their boss. 